Hey guys, welcome back to Time Machine Scale Models. Well, I know a lot of you guys have been waiting on this unboxing of the 1970 Dodge Coronet Super B from MPC, and the time has come. We're going to unbox this thing in this video. First, let's take a look at the uh, box art and uh, see what it has to offer. So first, I must say, I love this type of box art. I love the artist rendering box art of these round two kits. So let's look at the parts first so it says it has chrome exhaust tips ooh it's got a master sonar guys <laughs> 446 pack 390 horsepower V8 motor factory wheels console and pistol grip shifter hood hinges twin hood scoops firestone wide ovals washer reservoir and bucket seats they're all plus I guess so over here we got one that's done up in green, but I'm really interested. I'm always interested in looking at the decal sheets. So this one, you could see that it offers a blue, uh, lime green, and a black C-stripe, as well as white uh, tail stripe, blue tail stripe, black tail stripe. So um, we'll have to uh, see what that's all about. It's unfortunate. I wish it had the white C-stripe as well. And of course we have all these things, some license plates and stuff like that. And we'll look, we'll look deeper at the uh, decal sheet once we open this box up. So let me get the cellophane cut off the bottom of this box and I'll be right back. Stick around. Alright guys, here we are, we are back. So not only did I take the cellophane off the bottom, I unbagged the sprues as well, make it a little bit easier. So let's take a look at the body first. So it's your typical 70 Super B body. Gonna have a little bit of work to do, I see some filling that needs to be done there. Obviously plenty of cleanup, there is a lot of uh, mold lines on this one. So it's going to take some prep work before it's ready for primer and paint, that's for sure. But it doesn't look too bad. No major issues that I can see. A couple of sink marks up here that need to be filled in. Doesn't look too bad, guys. Just a little bit of normal cleanup that has to be done. Put this off to the side. The interior tub doesn't look too bad. In typical. This is the undercarriage, and now this is the same kit as the AMT Pro Street, and I'm sure the Dirty Donnie Super B, but it does not have a tubbed rear half. So unfortunately, you're not going to be able to make it a Pro Street unless you have the tubbed rear half, the back half, has stock, stock width frame rails. It's not very hard to make it a Pro Street, obviously. Let's look at these chrome trees. So here we have the uh, front grill and front bumper, rear taillight panel. Got your pistol grip shifter, regular B&M style shifter here. Your center console. Not too bad. Pretty shiny. On your next chrome tree, you have your two sets of wheels. No deep dish wheels though, they're all the same size. So you have chrome diff cover, carburetor, alternator, some side mirrors here, a couple more shifters. And then up here you have the triangular uh, air cleaners like what comes in the um, Pro Street. Your Hemi valve covers, chrome air cleaner, chrome tips, chrome shocks. It doesn't look too bad, guys. Let's take a look at these tires. So these are the pad printed wide oval Firestones. 
They don't look too bad. Tread is pretty decent on them. Yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't come with the Pro Street rear tires either. So, I'm sure you have some in your parts box if you want to make this a Pro Street. Clear parts, we won't go through these, but yes, you have your side glass, your rear, rear, rear window, your windshield, and your taillights molded in red. On this one, dashboard, you got your hood, needs a little bit of cleanup on the edges, your front balance, and your stock style steering wheel right here. On this one, you have your bucket seats. Got a little cleanup to do on those. Part of your air cleaner assembly and your dual hood scoops. Front sub assembly, your K member, your sway bar, and I believe your stock length exhaust. And this sprue would be your 446 pack, as indicated by the triple carb intake right here, your heads, your valve covers, your triple carbs right here, air cleaner, exhaust manifolds, belts and pulleys, some coilover shocks, your front cover assembly, and your water pump, and your fuel pump, more exhaust pieces. It's not looking too bad, guys. Like I said, you know, typical cleanup, you're going to remove flash, you're going to fill sink marks, etc., etc. So it's nothing to be afraid of. And I know how this kit builds up. So your firewall, another dash, radiator, sport style steering wheel. Here are your spindles, rad hoses, drive shaft, radiator sport. Here's your hood hinges. If you want to lock your hood open, you got your horns and stuff, your overflow bottle, your battery. And here's your shorty exhaust that you would use on the Pro Street version, as well as your narrowed rear end and stuff. Fan shroud, more coilover shocks here, and over here you have your inner fender wells. All right. One more sprue. Okay, here on this sprue, you're going to have your Hemi. So you have your Hemi block with your Hemi heads. And then you have a cross ram intake here, as well as a dual carb set up here. Your standard transmission, belts and pulleys, another water pump, and a front cover and fuel pump on this one. You have wheel backs. And over here you have your stock style rear end. It's two piece, has to be glued together with your leaf spring rear suspension. Fan, another um, air cleaner assembly part. Some headers over here and deep dish wheel bags, although we don't have the tires for them. Unless you have them in your parts box. So yeah, so this is cool that you have two engines. You have the 446 pack and you have the Hemi if you want to throw a Hemi in it. And all the parts to go along with it. All right, let's look at this decal sheet. So as I highlighted in the opening of the video, you have your blue, your green, and your black C stripes. And then you have a white hood stripe and a white tail stripe, blue and black tail stripe. And unfortunately, you don't have the white C-stripe. I wish it did, but it doesn't. And then over here, you have your assorted decals. In these flowers, you have the Scat Pack logo, uh, AC, Hearst, Valvoline. You have some STB flowers up here. They're pretty cool. There's your instrument cluster decal. Scat Pack logos. And then your six-pack decals and all your underhood decals here, Pennsylvania license plates, and these just say Dodge, and the, what, they just say Dodge Coronet, they're not a state, but these are Pennsylvania here, 440 logos, Scat Pack license plate as well, 
yeah they're pretty cool lots of decals pretty neat they look pretty good guys let's put these back in a bag clear some space and we'll look at the instruction sheet First step is going to be the engine assembly. So you have your engine assembly over here. So I'm only seeing the option in the instructions for the 440 and not the, the Hemi, the 426 Hemi. That's okay. I'm sure we know how to build an engine by now. Chassis assembly here. Shows you how you put your wheels together, of course. Front suspension assembly, engine location, etc. Moving forward, we have the coolant system, rear suspension assembly, exhaust, then we have our interior assembly, body assembly. The front end body assembly and the rear body assembly and then the decal placement it says we have five steps we know better than that guys don't we all right so they're pretty simple instructions easy to follow your typical mpc amt instructions so that's that all right guys i want to thank spotlight hobbies for providing the Bronco and the Super V to be unboxed. And I hope you enjoyed these two unboxings. I look forward to doing more for you. So you can know what's in these kits before you go and you spend your hard-earned hard dollars with Spotlight Hobbies. Purchase and model kits. Alright guys, until next time, happy modeling. Thanks for watching.